There comes a time in everyone's life when the urge to make a big, dark, looming tower becomes irresistible. You shouldn't try to resist it. Hello everyone, this is Craftmind reporting for the third time from the Dogcraft server and yes, I have a new update. I have as I have finished my tower project. Well, by finished, I mean the build is never completely finished, but I don't see immediately what I can improve on it. So let's call it finished for now. Okay, okay, reveal. Look behind me. There it is. I hope you like it. Uh, the scale, it, it's very difficult to appreciate the scale, but we will see it better once we go closer and especially when we go inside. The idea was to build something of a gradient, so dark, from dark to light. I'm happy with how it looks, but it's not perfect. I think I reviewed some 2, 3 or 17 times before I'm really happy with it. I am, however, happy for now and really, really proud, yes, I was looking for that word, of the interior, especially the cellars. Because, yes, I have made a very, very high tower and the thing I'm most proud of are its cellars. Let's not go into that, shall we? Come, I want to show you around. This was my old base. This will now become my new main base and it will probably remain so for some time because, well, I have a bit more space. Well, space. Look, this, this island appealed to me. It's really not a big island, but what it lacks in surface, I have compensated in height. And also, Below the surface, there is a lot of space. The idea here is that the grasslands gradually go into something more threatening and more nether-like. Well, I think I got away with it. The very imposing main entrance, because, well, it's not such a big thing in circumference but let's have a look there we are welcome to my new home so there's not a lot here it's not this this place is a compromise between looking great and being a bit functional so i have my main chanting room here can do some crafting my inner chest is here and I have a parking lot for all my shulker boxes. If you really want to have a sense of scale and an idea of how high it is, well, the best thing I can do is take you up. Let's go. So here we have my bedroom. And then we shall Climb and climb and climb. I have decorated every room that I made. This is some kind of indoor garden thingy and I really like that purple look. I added statues because, yes, if you want to make an impression, you need some statues. I have several. Bit of decoration, nothing spectacular here. Let's go up. Higher and higher, this is my planning room where I design the most evil plants. And I have a very special map here. This is the map from the race around the world, in which I gave up after two hours of accomplishing absolutely nothing. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to edit some of that footage in because I have been recording but actually it was 
most of the time me running around lonely in the hope of finding something that was on this map which I never did. Nonetheless I met some people on the way and it was a an interesting experience and a very nice initiative. So yes planning room right here we can go even upper can you say that i can say that yes next room well it's more of a floor than a room but it has armor stands yes nice armor stands make an impression for the visitors show them that you've got some wealth on you and we can go to here and this ladies and gentlemen is quite the view isn't it also we're not there yet and now we are this is the top floor of my tower and now it becomes a bit clearer that this isn't a very small thing in fact the highest block is at 140 which means that i can have very satisfying flyouts oh i, I suddenly developed a last second doubt if i actually had my elytra on that would have uh, shortened this video by quite a while anyway one last look outside statues i like the purple and black thingy i had some difficulties with going from black to gray as you see now there's one more thing i want to show you i already mentioned it it's the cellars and i'm really really proud of my cellars let's have a look so not very much space but we are on an island and if you go down you have more surface so my main storage will be downstairs and i've uh, made this a bit more dungeon like as you see i'm really really happy with how this came out this is a uh, Good looking place. I love barrels so much. Don't you? The idea is to fill every barrel with a different type of block and to actually fill them. So that's going to be a lot of work. Uh, I'll have to move some storage from my old place to here. This will not be automatic, an automatic storage. No item filter or sorter. Uh, nothing fancy i don't really need this i come on the server five hours in a week on average and just to have all that storage in itself will do for me also i have two levels of sellers now oh, i have this little workshop here where i can create and smelt and do stuff but downstairs i have created another cellar and this is well in the same style and i put some mini farms in it now don't don't think that that i've done exceptional stuff it's more a fun project actually it uh, you will see it it's about the smallest scale you can imagine so let's start with my biggest farm of all that's my cactus farm and immediately the scale of the entire thing will blow your mind i think i have no less than six or maybe seven cactuses here but anyway the thing works and Every farm produces an infinite amount of items, given an infinite amount of time. So time will surely help me here. I already have a stack of cactuses 
or cacti and that's very nice because I like to play with banners and green dye is not the easiest dye to find. Uh, this is my vine farm and it works very easy. You go to it with your shears and you take some. Actually, I don't understand any of it because it's ridiculously productive. It grows unbelievably quick in here. Uh, it, I've tried it a hundred blocks away and it wouldn't grow and here it's it's amazing okay yes uh, flower farm bring bone meal yes I have one more automatic farm and that is my sugar farm which is very impressive two sugars and some redstone wow look at it anyway it's not about the redstone it's about the looks. I love walking around here. It's just a very nice place. This is in fact the second part of the island that goes a bit up again. So I have a very nice space here and I'm still thinking about something really interesting to do. If you have any hints, let me know. So this was about it. My third update from this beautiful server uh, it's quite possible that I add some footage from the race around the world and from a very random encounter in the mall I still to this day do not know what happened back there. But anyway, there we are. I hope I showed you something interesting. If I did, please consider giving me a like. Uh, you know the drill. You know what to do. I hope to see you in an undefined amount of time for my fourth update from the server. Very curious what I have done then. Goodbye.